A partnership with Utah State University and Salt Lake City Public Utilities is bringing a new water conservation tool to the city and its residents. Now that spring runoff is over, it's time once again to focus on water conservation. I want to recognize that all Salt Lakers stepped up in a big way prioritizing conservation with last year's savings of almost 3 billion gallons of water. That is truly amazing, but I know we can do more. Salt Lake residents use metered culinary water for irrigation, and the city is looking for ways to conserve residential water use. Water conservation is one of the best ways to extend our existing water supply, ensure resiliency during drought, and address declining water levels in Great Salt Lake. New software from Utah State University analyzes water meter data, local weather data, and a simplified map of vegetation types to calculate a landscape irrigation ratio. This ratio is only available to the resident and the city public utilities and helps gauge how efficiently outdoor water is being used. Essentially, this program gives each resident the ability to see how much water can be conserved on their individual landscape. Analysis of the water data for the city suggests that roughly 50% of single-family residents are watering efficiently. Previous studies show that this new water maps tool could increase conservation by 30%. We expect that we will likely see the same 30% savings and they, their savings have been fairly consistent over the past several years using the reports that they know it's saved about 30% over not having those reports. Individual customer reports are available through the Salt Lake City Public Utilities website. There you can see what your landscape irrigation ratio has been over the past five years and find out more ways to conserve to find the particular locations that may be inefficient in their landscape water use, as well as may use high volumes of water, and then offer them certain conservation programs or get in contact with them and make them more aware of the things that they can do. Professor Enterwada wants to show residents that they can still conserve water without compromising the landscape on their property. She says we can also keep our yards healthy by using less water with these tools that are being implemented. I'm Nate Larson with ABC4 News, back in studio.